Namaste. Today we are going to learn how to loop through a dictionary in UiPath. Okay, so this is our topic. So you must have seen my previous video. How do you create a dictionary? How do you insert data into a dictionary? I have shown you. But here in this video, we are going to see how will you loop through the data using a for each loop. Okay, so something like so how you loop through is something I'm going to show you, which is very important for us to learn. Okay, so first of all, let's create uh, start creating the dictionary. Okay, for that, hope you re remember in my previous video, all I have to do is use assign activity. And here, let me create a variable control plus K and I'm going to say dictionary. I'm going to give a name to the variable. Okay, so once the variable is created, I have to go to variable panel. Hope you are remembering from my previous video, browse for types and here I have to do dictionary. Okay, and once you type dictionary, all you have to do is scroll down and select dictionary under system dot collection dot generic under that you have this select this so i am going to deal with uh, let's say name and his age so a person's name and age so the first one is a string kind of a data and the second kind is a integer kind of a data so i'm going to deal i'm going to create a dictionary so dictionary is a two dimensional data hope you can recall now okay so now here i need to initialize the dictionary for that all i have to do You have to type new dictionary of right and here in the bracket you will write okay done so this is how you will be initializing the dictionary so once you are done click on okay so we are done until here now the portion comes to add the data so one way you can add the data, I'm going to show you two different ways using the assign activity. I can add the data. So what I have to do in the assign activity in the to field. So this is the variable name, dictionary variable name and in bracket, let me write the key. So the key is nothing but the name of a person, any person. Okay. So I'm going to say, let's say John and click on. Okay. And here on the right hand side on the value because it is an integer string and integer so integer i'm going to say 35 is age some age you know something you are putting the another way to do that is by using an activity called add to dictionary okay so this activity generally you will not have in your ui path i told you so for this you have to install something called go to manage packages and install microsoft dot activities dot extensions okay that is the uh, package name that you need to install so here i am going to click on string and integer otherwise you can simply use assign activity and do that so here in the dictionary what i'm going to do i'm going to give the name of the dictionary variable which is dictionary and then the key let's say i'm going to say george and the value i want to put let's say his age is 45 let's say so i have entered all the data now so once i have entered what happens there are two sets set of data being entered one has ramesh and his age 35 the other one has george and his name his age 45 so name and age name and age so this data is stored so likewise you can go more and more right you can create so many so now the question here is how do you loop through it okay so to looping through the data so i'll be using a for each loop so i'll not use a for each row why because for each row works for a data table kind of a data right data table but for each would work generally so i am using a for each loop okay now in the for each loop here i am going to mention the dictionary variable so this dictionary variable has got two elements one is the key under which we have the names the right side is the value under which we have the age so here it has to iterate through so now generally what is the mistake one would do generally using a for each loop you have to change the type argument right now you what you will do generally uh, common sense you know that will tell okay because i am dealing with dictionary let's select the dictionary kind of a uh, data type okay type argument so i have done that so if i do this there is a problem i'll tell you what is the problem so let's say i am going to type the 
uh, data i will just simply say item dot to string so this is where people would fail as to why this is not working okay all done now, now the moment i click on the run it is going to throw me an error called invalid cast exception okay that means it is not able to cast the data into what you want right so what is happening here you can see it is saying system invalid cast exception so if i continue finally it is going to throw me this error system invalid cast exception so this is the error i have got and why this error is coming do you know it is happening in the for each loop right source is for each loop so why this is happening this is just happening because you are defining it to dictionary so inside the dictionary you have also string also have integer 32 so two different types of data right so you cannot define anything here so what you do on such cases you have to keep it as object so dictionary is an object so i am keeping it as an object so now if i run it it should go through it should not throw any kind of error okay so now you can see it has started printing the data so first data was john 35 the second data was george 45 so it is showing you the proper data i hope this example must have given you a lot of knowledge around looping through a dictionary okay so please do like uh, the video if it is helping you and any videos that you are watching on our channel we have uh, when you go to the home page of our channel we have a playlist go to the playlist and start going through all the chapters one by one one by one okay and my kind request uh, for all the efforts that we put uh, please do if you feel good it is helping you please do like and please do subscribe to the channel because every day we are posting lot of information on our channel if you are not subscribed that means you are not also subscribing to the knowledge that you could have gained so i would uh, request you guys to to get the best help from the knowledge and the amount of data we are posting on to our channel please do subscribe hit on the bell icon and keep on getting data information from our channel thank you guys you guys have a great day